What's going on guys? This is Riggs from Clashing FFS bringing you a brand new video. The first thing you're probably gonna notice, uh, of course, is the face cam. Uh, before we get into that, I have a very, very special war. This is not, the war you're looking at on your screen, this is not just any ordinary war, another you know run of the mill war. If we go ahead and look at the details, you guys gotta check this out. FYSB versus Kinnick Society. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and check out my team. The very first thing that you should notice is the number of wars won. I wanna be, well, I'm not the first one. We've been congratulating them uh, in Discord pretty much the entire day. Uh, the first thing that I'd wanna do, at least publicly on YouTube, is say congratulations to FYSB for winning their 500th war. I've actually done a little bit of the math here uh, for you guys. To achieve what they have done, you'd pretty much have to win. You'd have to war every other day, you know, as, as often as you could, you know, warring every other day. You would have to win every single war for roughly two years and seven months in order to achieve what FYSB has. We're gonna go ahead and take a look at their war log. Not too shabby, uh, not too shabby. Uh, if you guys check this out, they have 500 wins, they have 96 losses, uh, three draws bringing their grand total to 599 wars. The very next war would make it their 600. Now remember, this isn't including the friendly wars. This is only their, you know, the quote unquote, you know, random spins. So they've done well over that. Uh, this is truly a clan uh, with stats like this, with numbers like this, 500 wins. You know, I've looked at One Hive, I've looked at Cold September, you know, I've, I've looked at uh, Golden Goblins, who's, who's also getting close. Um, but these clans, to get to 500 wins, okay, 500 wins, again, not, not counting the losses, it really separates them apart from pretty much all the other clans, knowing uh, the type of leadership that they have there, the type of members that they have, the type of atmosphere. You don't just win 500 wars, you know, out of the blue. Uh, it takes a very long time, a lot of perseverance. Uh, so again, I want to congratulate FYSB for their 500th war win. I suggest you guys do the same down in the comment section. Um, but yeah, huge shout out to them. 500 war wins, insane. They, if you do the math, they've pretty much been warring non-stop since Clan Wars came into the game. I, mean, uh, I know a lot of people, myself included, weren't even playing this game when Clan Wars uh, first started. I came a few months after. Um, but yeah, just remarkable, remarkable uh, that they are able to achieve this. And again, congratulations. Cannot say it enough. Um, unfortunately, a lot of the replays, you guys, were wiped because Supercell did an update. I, I, I truly don't even know wh what what they did. I mean, I'm sure it was something. So unfortunately, a lot of the replays were wiped. Uh, and you guys know, I love starting off with the Town Hall 9 action. I'm sorry, not this war. All the Town Hall 9 attacks were wiped. But I do have two 10v10s I wanna show you guys from this 500th war win war uh two 10 v 10s and one 11 v 11 we'll go ahead and hit replay um i've actually I'm, we're gonna be watching these together i have not seen these attacks uh you know i i just got off work want to get this video out to you guys in case they did another update or the uh replays get wiped but, we'll go, but i did see that there were a couple 10 v 10s and there was an 11 v 11 still available and yes i am still getting used to the face cam not every single video where are we at here Okay, we got an archer down. Uh, not every single video is gonna have the face cam. Obviously, it's a lot easier to make a video without it. Um, but whenever I can, I'll definitely jump on, do the face cam. Uh, the most important thing though, more so than the videos, um, cause I don't want you guys just to, I guess, focus on my face. You know, I want, the, I want the main focus to be, you know, on what's on your screen. However, okay, we got queen down here. As you guys see, I did a lot of my homework uh, before this. Um, is the streaming. Uh, for the streams, as a lot of you may know, I am new to streaming, uh, having a lot of fun doing it. So that's definitely something we'd wanna do 
is, you know, for the face cam, uh, is, uh, for the streams, get the face cam going. Uh, I know a lot of people have, you know, rigs, you know, why are you hiding your face? I'm not, you know, I've, I've had my profile, at least in Discord, um, of my face uh, for a long time. But with the way the channel has been growing, it's, I mean, it's, it's truly remarkable. And there are a lot of people that have not seen my uh, face. Um, but yeah, so anyway, this is me. Uh, but anyway, let's get the focus back on FYSB, you guys. A beautiful, beautiful queen charge with the bowlers uh, right behind her. Kind of a queen charge, king bowler charge over there at 9 o'clock. Hogs coming in at the bottom. Uh, if you guys missed it, there was a little uh, skeleton spell trick to go ahead and distract that infernal tower uh, as the hogs were coming up on that nasty Tesla farm. Uh, that was right there. And we see a beautiful heal spell. There are going to be a few defenses uh, for the Hogs to get through over in the back end. They'll be ending over here at about 11 o'clock. All spells have been used. However, if you guys look, we just got we got a single shot Inferno Tower. But with a huge pack of Hogs. One mortar. One cannon. Not going to be a big deal. Uh, we'll go ahead and just times through this. Nice attack. Uh, by Sergey getting it done, getting that 10v10. Uh, they did have quite a few 10v10s this war too, and like I said, we'll be looking at one uh, 11v11, so definitely stay tuned for that. But beautiful, beautiful attack uh, right there. I actually have to move my face a little bit so we can <laughs> go to the war map here. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and jump up uh, this one right No, that was a dip. Uh, this one right here from Rogers, my main man Rogers. The Asian lawyer going to be coming in here. Uh, let's go ahead and do that again. Uh, with a queen charge. Looks like we're doing a queen charge Lalo on this base. Taking on Mac the Dipper from Kinnick Society. Matt the Dipper, he's a town hall. So he must be dipping town hall nines. Is that what it is? All right, queen charge coming in here at 4 o'clock. Uh, where it looks like... I have seen a base similar to this. Not the exact same base. But definitely I have seen a base similar uh, these, this tri expo compartment really, really stands out. Uh, but we have queen on king action. Uh, we do have a rage for the queen, so she can go ahead and beat through him. Uh, and set a nice funnel, real cheap, just with a few minions over there at uh, three o'clock. Queen is rounding the bend. Wall breakers are coming down. There they go. They're gonna go ahead and get the wall pop, even under that expo fire. Uh, he was able to drop enough to go ahead and pop that wall. And for spells, he still has three more rage three more haste and a uh, poison spell left to deploy and he's not done breaking walls guys he still has five more wall breakers there they go healers eating a seeking air mine king is funneling all the trash and a couple defenses for the queen so she can head right into this core taking on that expo where he does want to get uh that queen on queen action uh, he does not have a skeleton spell for this uh, attack right here does get the second layer wall bro he's actually done Holy crap, he's done a three layer wall break already. Hound has popped. Enemy Loon goes down to the poison. She's just slowly picking away at these pups. Uh, pups does drop a minion to go ahead and help out uh, with time. And he has not started uh, the flight portion. He wants to make sure he gets this queen taken care of. Goes and drops down another rage. Not that she really needed it for her health, but more so to speed up the damage, uh, the damage output so he can get this flight portion started, which he is going to be starting the flight over there at 9 o'clock. Uh, where he's going to be dropping down a pair of haste to take out the wizard towers and the inferno tower. Max Town is doing a good job tanking for both of those air defenses. We have another haste spell uh, coming down on the wizard tower, the air defense, and he does have a rage. There it goes. Uh, air defense is down. And it looks like that rate, it looks like the, the, the loons kind of path around the defenses. But again, with the inferno towers under, uh, or that are single target there we go i got trapped on my words they were able to take out the single shot inferno tower which was huge to this attack and you'll see queen is going to be coming in clutch right here and look at all the pups all the this one got really really close holy crap queen beats through the wall last building to go down was uh that cannon right there but wow that was that was insane huge shout out to rogers uh definitely um counting uh, his lucky stars on that one, but getting the triple huge shout to him and like I said a lot of these replays Unfortunately, I, ooh, is this an anti-three? We got a 71% 
10 v 11 from Arrow. Oh my goodness, no it wasn't. Holy crap, okay, let's go ahead and check out uh, this 10 v 11 attack from my man Arrow. Uh, let's, go ahead, let's go ahead and see what he does. Uh, he is bringing uh, eight balloons in the, in, the, in the army comp, 12 Valkyries look like, so he's gonna be doing a Valk dive to go ahead and get that town hall. Uh, for the spells, we got a heal, we got three rage, we got a jump, two poisons. Wow, this is a 70% uh, 10 v 11 attack. Uh, usually when you see percentage like that, I, I really thought it possibly it was going to be like an anti-3 layout, but it's not. It's clearly an anti-2 layout. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at this. Queen charging into the 6 o'clock compartment where he will be meeting Queen uh, once this... Uh, was that once the archer tower goes down? No, once the elixir. Okay, there we go. Rage is down. Queen on queen action. His queen is gonna win every time under that rage spell. Actually, taking a look at it, it is a underdeveloped uh, town hall eleven. Um, but regardless, I mean, it's still gonna be a beautiful attack. Uh, we do have a poison also capturing uh, the big dragon and the witch that came out of the CC. Uh, and he still has a heal, a rage, and a jump spell still left to deploy as we go ahead and take a look at this. She's just beating on a wall as she always does. Here comes the eight loons. I was curious what he's going to be using uh, those loons for. They're going to be taking out these mortars. Looks like uh, this is the part that his Valkyries are going to be entering into. Uh, minions coming down. Both those archer towers are down. Uh, looks like he's actually on the hunt for the Eagle Artillery. Is he going to go ahead and drop that Rage? No, he's not. They're just going to kind of cruise in there. Uh, definitely not going to get the Eagle down, though. I, I thought for a second maybe he was going to drop down that Rage to hopefully get the Eagle Artillery. Might not need it. Uh, he did go ahead and pop Queen Ability. Uh, she was taking a lot of damage. Uh, she goes down to the King, though, uh, as he was all out of spells. But here comes all the Valkyries. Jump leading right into the core. Uh, as well as a raid spell and here comes the huge group and he has his king right behind so the valkyries kind of triggered all the traps as the king was sweeping in there he did still have king ability and he's easily going to get through that town hall we'll go ahead and times this real quick but yeah monumental uh win something fysb definitely uh, can be proud of picking up their 500th war. I think in FFS we've only won about 60 wars. Uh, and we've and we've already been a clan for you know over a year now. Uh, so you want to talk about an incredible feat? It's just it's just remarkable. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and check out this attack from Ma'am taking on Morgan from Kinnick Society. It looks like just gonna be a straight up. Uh, Lalo, just a spam Lalo, Warden behind. Looks like it's going to be one of those attacks where um, Mam's just going to be using the heroes on the very, very back end. Minions already down as they are working through this base. Uh, all kinds of spells down, even a clone down there taking on the air defense, taking on the, well, that's a ground expo, uh, but they are taking out the Grand Warden statue. Does pop uh, Grand Warden ability as the clone loons. <laughs> end up taking out that infernal tower so pretty much damn near all threats are down right now you guys uh heroes on the back end kind of swagging ish the heroes uh but looks like that with that queen ability uh that is going to come in clutch we do still have two expos up an air defense that's not going to do anything to a queen and we do have a tesla but with this level 50 archer queen she does work i mean it looks like that look the ability still up i don't even know how many seconds it lasts for but it's enough it is enough and just like that I, i'm gonna call that was a sub two minute raid for sure with the spam lalo getting it done huge shout out to ma'am uh with i think the one and only 11 v 11 three star uh of this war um yeah the only let me see did they no they did not okay but that's going to do it for this recap, you guys. FYSB taking on Kinnick Society. Huge shout out to them um, over in KS. Uh, but even a bigger shout out to the guys and girls over in FYSB. It is an incredible clan, an amazing clan, amazing leadership, very friendly atmosphere. Slight trolling, but it's all in good fun. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's a great clan to be a part of, and um, I haven't done much, like, at all in the clan, at all. 
Um, but, you know, I, I definitely want to share this moment uh, with FYSB with their 500th war win. I did do a little bit, um, like I said, I did do a little bit of homework before the video. They do not have any original members from, you know, War 1 from the very, very beginning. Uh, but they do have a handful of members that have been in clan for quite a few years. Uh, which is incredible in itself. I mean, especially with the turnover right now uh, with members just, you know, bailing left and right in clans, flip-flopping back and forth. Um, to have, you know, members that have been in clan for three plus years is, is pretty remarkable. 500th war win right here, you guys. Hopefully, hopefully uh, you enjoyed the video. Uh, we got the face cam. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And again, huge shout out to everybody in FYSB. Shout out to all the subscribers. Uh, stay tuned for the very next video. Uh, I, you know, I do want to thank you guys a lot for all of your love and support for the channel. I do have a video coming up very shortly. Um, just kind of like a shout out, you know, a thank you video that will be coming to the channel very soon. So definitely stay tuned for that. Um, but yeah, like the video if you like it. Uh, comments, questions, or concerns down in the comment section below. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you have not already. As always, this is Riggs from Clashing FFS, and I'll see you in the very next video.